I moved to Aberdeen in 2009 um, from Moscow with my family, so I stayed here for 14 years. Mum decided that she didn't really want my brother and I to grow up in Moscow anymore. Um, so she basically asked to be transferred over with her job and she brought us here. I was 12 years old when I moved, so I didn't really understand very well what was happening because I also did not speak any English. Um, I was kind of thrown into this environment, into my school and with new people with completely different culture. The exhibition is called Aberdeen Open City and I have been approached by my um, lecturer from Gray School of Art called John Blackwood. Exhibitions are organised by um, Look Again, so it's like a cultural organisation here in Aberdeen and they uh, put a lot of different events and exhibitions and mostly cultural events as well all across Aberdeen and they um, engage with um, students from um, the art school, Grace School of Art and um, ask them to participate. I graduated from Grace School of Art in 2019. I um, studied fine art painting. It's the main art school basically here in Aberdeen and um, City does engage a lot with, um, with the school and um, a lot of students return to exhibit here and a uh, part like, like me <laughs> who has returned to exhibit here after having graduated. When I was studying there was quite a tight community of artists here. A lot of people were working together and collaborating. For my practice I utilise an archive of photos. It spans from around like 2000s up until 2009-2010. Um, it was an archive that was built by my parents. I would usually start by picking a photograph that certain components of it I find quite interesting because I also work a lot with memories and dreams. I sort of layer that with the photograph and while making the drawing, the drawing starts to reveal itself to me through the process. Party Boy is quite an old composition. It was born back when I was at university um, back in fourth year and um, it comes from this fall of my brother um, at his birthday party and um, what I really liked about the photo is that he looks really sad and he's pointing at his friends and all of the presents that are in front of him and he for some reason just looks really unhappy so I wanted to depict that like a homage to a lost childhood the time that you cannot ever experience again that only remains in your memory so it's quite nostalgic. Nostalgia plays a really big role in my work. It is something that I have been researching and looking at for quite a while and Tarkovsky's Nostalgia is one of my favorite films as well. It is something that although evokes quite a lot of sadness still warms your heart and it's still it's not something that you want to get rid of it's something that I think myself as a person and as an artist I almost exist in it. The composition for January came from this photo that was sent over to me by my uncle and my uncle remains in Moscow so he just sent this photo of quite a familiar district um, it's a place that I've never been before, but a lot of districts in Moscow look like that. And I have combined that picture with a memory that I have from my last visit um, to Russia. So I decided to layer them together. The memory is of my friends and I walking around this quite old um, graveyard and Funnily enough, the place that the picture comes from is actually really close to that graveyard. So I think it's quite interesting how that memory just popped into my head as soon as I seen the photo. Uh, the last time that I was back in Russia was last year. 
I have decided to quit my job in Glasgow and to move to Moscow and see if I could find myself as an artist there. I wanted to stay for as long as possible. I never really had an opportunity to live in Moscow as an adult because every time I went back it was for a couple of weeks. So this was sort of my idea that I would stay. I would do research, I will walk around and take more photos and utilize that for my practice. Basically just grow my practice, see if that was important for me as an artist. And um, I, spent, I spent about two months there. Um, when Russia invaded Ukraine, I wanted to stay. I wanted to try and continue to do <laughs> what I came to do, but it was, it was pretty impossible. So I made the choice to come back here to the UK um, and I returned in March. Um, when I came back, my sort of my at that time and even now still, it was really important for me to do something and to speak about the war that Russia has started and help Ukrainian people. So I had a great opportunity to uh, participate in um, cultural event. It was a uh, artists um, for Ukraine auction that was organized in Glasgow and um, all of the sold works, the, uh, all of the money from the sold works was going towards Ukrainian refugees in Poland. The work nowhere near where we're supposed to be is a work that is based on a place that is very important to me. It's our family dacha um, on it's placed on the outskirts of Moscow and where my brother and I have spent a lot of time as children. Um, the work is quite ambiguous. Um, with It doesn't actually depict any specific place. Um, the kids, um, I wanted to portray them as children that just accidentally stumbled across this house. And it's, it looks like it's a deserted place and it's abandoned house um, in, in this specific work I question what would happen to these places and the spaces that are so dear to me if my family wouldn't return back to Russia if we were unable to go back and how they would become abandoned.